Hey, everyone. Welcome to the show. So on Friday, Republican Congressman George Santos jumped on a Twitter space and he spilled all the tea about his fellow House members. Well, without mentioning names, now, if you guys aren't familiar with the platform, a Twitter space, it's basically like a public conference call. Um, anyone can log on to Twitter and they can listen and they can hear everything that's being said in a Twitter space by the people who are speaking and presenting and people who are listening can request to speak. It's kind of like raising your hand, but the person who scheduled the space controls the microphones and who's muted, who's live. So Santos was in this Twitter space on Friday. It was hosted by a journalist and he said that he's not going to resign because that would amount to an admission of guilt essentially. And Santos said he realizes that he's probably going to be expelled. Santos said, quote, I've done the math over and over, and it doesn't look really good. Santos also referred to the Republican chairman of the House Ethics Committee as a female body part. I don't want my video to be demonetized, so I'm not going to use the word. But let's just say it's the thing that Donald Trump likes to grab. <laughs> OPP, how can I explain it? Anywho, um, Santos also unloaded on his fellow congressmen. He called them a bunch of, quote, hypocrites. And he said that Congress is, quote, felons galore and loaded with, quote, people with all sorts of shysty backgrounds. <laughs> and then Santos accused them of having affairs he said they get loaded with lobbyists and then they miss votes because of hangovers the next day. And he said that they hand out voting cards like, quote, candy so that they can have other people cast votes on their behalf. And Santos is either exceedingly delusional or he is truly a consummate salesman because he said he's going to run again for office in the future. Santos said, quote, I definitely will not be going away. Elected office is not off the table. Although he did concede it's not going to be anytime soon. And he said it would never again be in New York. <laughs> so if he is not in prison for decades, my guess is Florida, because Florida Republicans, they, they do love them some corporate or uh, corrupt politicians. They really do. Anyway, um, several Congress people plan to push for a House vote this week. And Democratic Congressman Robert Garcia, he's a, a congressman from California, he also jumped on the Twitter space and he advised Santos to apologize to the people of his district. And he said to, for that he should just resign because, quote, we're going to vote to expel you, George. <laughs> So Santos is right. It, it is not looking good for him. A Republican congressman told Axios News Outlet that only a few dozen members of his own party are going to vote in his favor. So that means if all Democrats go along with the expulsion, he's done. He is toast. Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, he makes for a good show. I will give him that. But I'm, I'm sure this won't be the last that we hear of him. <laughs> Anyway, he is burning it down. He's like, we don't need no water. Let the mucker burn. <laughs> the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. He doesn't care. Yeah, he is going to take that place down with him. He's like, if I can't have you, nobody will. Anyway, all right. <laughs> when I hear more, I will let you know. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if possible. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.